We have a new challenge level in Clash of Clans that features the brand new Beast King skin, and I'm going to show you how to three star it right now. Guys, this challenge level is super tricky, but check it out. We got Beast Kings all over the place, and just take a look at him. And just in case you wanted a closer look at him, there he is, the brand new Beast King. And of course, guys, if you're planning on buying the Gold Pass, don't forget to click on that C and enter code BASH. But enough messing around. Let me show you guys how to beat Lexnos' challenge. That's right, guys. Lexnos built this one. Shout out to the homie Lex getting a challenge stage in game. Really cool, but it's also kind of toxic let me show you how to beat it we're gonna start off with two skeleton spells right here on the left side of this bow and you want to put it on the left side so it doesn't get targeted by too many defenses so we're gonna put those skeletons right in there they're gonna take down the bow and then they're gonna go in and they're gonna take down the clan castle okay no big deal there we can get that all taken out and once the clan co castle goes down we're gonna go ahead and start with the rest of our attack we're gonna have to do some multitasking here because I've had this uh, time become an issue. So once that goes down, we're going to go ahead and we're going to go Skeleton Spell, Skeleton Spell right here. Then we're going to go King, Queen, and then the Warden right in through here. Along with the Electro Titan and the Wall Breaker right through there. And finally, the Battle Drill. So basically everything in. While they're working, we're going to come back over here. And we're going to place in one Goblin right here that's going to set off some traps, okay? We're going to wait for that Tornado to go off. We're going to keep an eye on our King. If we have to, pop his ability even pop the warden ability he's a low level king so it's okay now we're gonna go, come back over here and we're gonna place in all of these sneaky goblins and then after a quick second we're gonna go ahead and place in the invisibility so that the sneaky goblins can finish off that town hall all right perfect now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna throw in our royal champion right through here we're gonna place in a skeleton spell right here as well and place in this headhunter just to help out a little bit this will allow this battle drill to work through here but allow everything to work through and the biggest thing from here is to place in these skeleton spells to distract this inferno and then we'll place in skeleton spells as we move through here to distract this inferno and so on and so forth everything else should work through the top side we really shouldn't have to worry about it too much until right about now we can go ahead and place in skeleton spells right here just to protect our queen a little bit okay so the theme here is to use these skeleton spells to distract and really we can go ahead and use the rest of these skeleton spells through there. We can place our cleanup back here. If you want, you can even use a skeleton spell to clean up on the base. I did that a couple times and it was all right, but I like to just make sure we get all these defenses down. And one way you can ensure doing that is going ahead and making your Royal Champion ability or invisible right there so she doesn't go to ability. Then we will finally pop her ability. I know a lot going on here, a lot going on all at once. But if we maintain it all properly, we should be fine. We'll go ahead and make a real, vis a real champion invisible again to finish off this monolith. And then we're good, guys. From there, it's going to be a nice little easy three-star. We got our cleanup working with all those skeletons. Just kind of manage everything. But this one's not too hard once you know what to do. I think you should uh, take a little time and experiment with it. Have a little bit of fun. I'm sure some people are going to be swagging some stuff out because this one's its not too bad once you understand what's going on on this one. And we get that a look at that brand new Beast King skin. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this guide. If it was helpful, consider leaving a like and subscribing. You guys have a great day. Keep on Clash Bashing.